Hey, this is Jeff in Miller's RV, and today we're gonna do a full walk around on a new trade-in we just got, a 2015 Allegro 32SA. I'm gonna show you the features, the benefits, but I'm gonna start with the floor plan because that typically is the number one reason that a person buys a specific motorhome is to make sure the floor plan fits their needs. So we're gonna start inside with floor plan, then I'm gonna show you the outside, and then I'll break down the three things that I love most which is really hard to do because there's so many on this unit. Before we begin though, would you please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell, make it ring so that you can get all of our updates when we have new videos that come out. And if you have a question or a comment on this video, please let us know. We want to be your source providing information to help you enjoy the journey. So please talk to us, let us know. We'd love to come out with videos that you want to see. Let's go inside and we'll take a look at the floor plan. Okay, so we're inside the 32SA right now, and we're we'll gonna start with floor plan and, and why I think this is a great coach. Uh, whether it's a couple or a family, doesn't matter. It's an awesome motorhome, awesome floor plan for you. One thing I just, I gotta mention, I can't help myself. Right now we have the air on, which down here in South Louisiana, yes, it is fall, but I'm wearing shorts because it's 90 degrees outside today. And we have the air on. That's something we usually don't do in most uh, motorhome videos. We usually turn the air off in motorhome and trailer videos because normally you'll see a big return air right here. And literally on the other side of that little bitty plastic screen, that little bitty piece of foam is the air conditioner fan uh, and compressor and everything else. So when you kick on the AC, it's a lot of noise. So we turn it off because in the videos, you just can't hear very well. So we'd rather me sweat a little bit than you not be able to hear us. Well, this one, what Tiffin does is a different system. This is what we find. A lot of very high-end diesel pushers have this. Um, not many gas coaches. This might be the only gas coach I know of that has this feature. But what Tiffin does is they've raised the ACs and sealed them inside the roof. So you don't have a big return air. What you have is everything, all the vents on the driver's side are return airs. You can see I can put a, a bill right there and it, because that's the air returning through everything on the driver's side or vents. Okay, so we have here a queen size sleeper sofa mattress. So it's a sleeper sofa, a pull out hide a bed, not a jackknife. And the hide a bed not only has the mattress, but has an air chamber on top, makes it a very, very comfortable mattress. You have the Euro recliner here with the footrest, so really comfortable seat. So and across from the recliner, we have our entertainment center here with a big TV, fireplace, surround sound speaker. So uh, great area to watch TV from. I'm a big football fan, so it's great to be able to sit on the recliner or sit on the sofa and be directly across from the TV or the table and chairs. You can actually turn the chairs around and have a comfortable seating area for that as well. Uh, the next is a refrigerator. Awesome, residential style refrigerator instead of the RV fridge. Now, the RV fridge has the one advantage of it will work on 12 volt with no 110 power. The, this coach has a built-in inverter, so you don't have to worry about that. This fridge will run even when you're off your battery power. And you also have you know, your generator. When you're gonna be running your airs, you won't need it because your refrigerator is on as well. So refrigerator stays running most of the time with the air conditioner. Down here in the south, we run the generator 10 months out of the year just because it's hot. Uh, also built-in vacuum system. So a little outlet is down there. There's a cord that plugs in and the hose will reach from the front to the rear of this coach. And there's a hookup outside for it as well. So if you wanna clean the compartments or even clean your car, the cord stretches and you, the extension of the hose stretches and you can reach them both. But I love the residential refrigerator, not only for the size, it's much larger, but for the cooling and the freezing. Um, the RV fridge is great, but the freezer doesn't get as cold as the residential refrigerator does. It also doesn't get as cold as quick. So the RV fridge, you have to turn on eight hours before you want to use it. This gets cold much, much faster. And the freezer freezes your ice cream. And you've seen my videos before. I'm a big fan of ice cream, but I want my ice cream frozen. So residential fridge is a big deal for me. When we get into the kitchen, you're going to notice a couple things. Residential size microwave, so instead of the small RV size you usually get, and the larger residential size oven. So instead of the short oven, you get a taller one. Uh, I still don't do a ton of baking in a motorhome, but you do have it. And I didn't even mention, but this is a convection microwave. So you can actually bake in the convection microwave as well. So you have both the regular oven and the convection microwave. No corners cut here. And then the recessed uh, countertop. So you have your three burner stove but a great recessed countertop, which is just awesome because it gives you the extra space when you're not cooking to be able to have for making sandwiches or putting dips out or whatever you want to do. Beautiful tile backsplash on the coach, nice Corian or solid surface countertop, so really a beautiful looking kitchen. So one thing I really love about Tiffin products in general, uh, especially when you relate to other gas coaches in this price range, um, really gas coaches in any price range, is the cabinetry. Most gas motorhomes will have a hardwood door but they're gonna have a vinyl wrap on the style. Now that might not mean anything to most people, 
but basically what it means is your door on most RVs is a stained hardwood door, but the cabinetry is actually a vinyl or paper material. And the one problem with that, if you've seen older motor homes, how there's a difference in color between the paper and the door. So wood is naturally going to darken and change with age as the, um, as the stain takes and everything else and exposure to sunlight, but the vinyl doesn't. So that's why over time you get this difference and some of them are quite drastic difference between your cabinetry and your wood. This is not going to do that, uh, but the other benefit too is if I scrape or scratch this cabinet fascia or this end piece or this end piece down here, I can stain it and it'll look just like normal. If you do it on a vinyl wrap, there's actually white pine underneath it or white spruce underneath it, but it's not a hardwood, so you're not going to be able to make those repairs to it. So not only are your cabinet doors hardwood, but your fascia and your end pieces are all also hardwood, which really helps the coach last longer and also hold up better. So it brings us to your dining area. Love the dining area again. Solid surface countertop to match the countertops in the kitchen. Um, table and chairs. This side has a computer workstation. Little computer workstation pulls out. I want to show you a neat feature I love. These are the, the NCD style shades, which are roller shades. You have the sheer, which is great because you can see out. But you also have, when you want to darken the room completely, you also have the room darkening shade or the solid shade. So great feature, again, something we find in the high level diesel pushers, you don't find in many gas coaches. But you have both those shades there are great. Now this table is set up for two people, this is how you usually travel. Good storage all the way around, plugs underneath and stuff. But then the countertop will pull out, uh, your pin's ready to go if you need it. Uh, and it comes with two chairs that fold out that can store in your basement. They are um, the upholstery matches. And again, just like the wood I was mentioning earlier, this hardwood is stained. They're made by Tiffin, so it matches the cabinets. Same color and everything else. So this gives you nice seating for four people. And then, like I mentioned earlier, when you want to turn them around and watch TV, the chairs are completely movable. You can put them wherever you want. Uh, you can strap them down when you're traveling and put these in the basement, but great dinette area great balances, uh, nice fixtures and everything else. And uh, one thing to mention on the hardwood, Tiffin even makes all these little extra hardwood pieces and they're also wood. Uh, something different is a lot of them are plastic or paper wrap vinyl when you get up here. Or again, so, if you damage them, you can't fix them, you can't touch them up, they're just ruined. Here, they're hardwood, so they're gonna hold up a lot better than what you would get normally. And if you have to, Tiffin can usually make these pieces for us so we can replace them if they need to be. Okay, so the driving area, both of these chairs do turn around, which gives you another living space in the front. Uh, the passenger seat actually has a footrest that folds out, so great room there. Uh, built on the heavier duty Ford chassis, not the lightweight one. Uh, you have the color backup camera, color side view cameras, driver's door, all great features in here. Of course, gen start and stop up front, HWH hydraulic jacks, very low doghouse or engine cover, uh, so it's great it's being able to tripping all over getting in and out of the front seats, this one's not. Okay, so we're inside, king size bed back here, ceiling fan, two speed, 12 volt ceiling fan, so it works whether the generator's running or not. Um, the TV in the back also has your hookups. This is where all your hookups are for your uh, DVD player and your satellite system. Now one thing that Tiffin does I really, really love is their HDMI system runs throughout the whole coach. So every TV, the TV in the bedroom, the front TV and the outside TV have two inputs from, um, from the system. So that means there's HDMI cables running for two different inputs. One of them is your direct TV, the other one is set up for your DVD, but some people want to have two different direct TVs. All we have to do is switch the HDMI cord and you can have direct TV one and direct TV two playing to the outside or the front, front TV, wherever you want on that. So great feature. I love the way they have that set up and the surround sound system as well which is for the center area. Um, great storage back here, good cabinet storage below. The bed does lift up, so you have storage underneath the bed, which is great storage there. Uh, back here in the back, you do have extra little hanging space for coats and stuff. Uh, overhead cabinet storage is good. USB outlets on both sides, as well as 110 outlets on both sides of the bed. So whether you wanna plug in a phone or whether you have a CPAP, You've got both on both sides of the bed. Side windows as well, so good cross ventilation. And again, both have the sheer and the dark shade. So two great little setups in this living area or in the bedroom area here. Okay, so a lot of people are concerned about a split bath, about privacy. Um, first of all, I love a split bath because by having the hallway count as both your bathroom and hallway, you end up getting a larger bathroom. But for privacy, very simply, we have um, a sliding door here that 
goes across and locks, as well as one on this side. So you do have privacy for that. Tiffin also puts an automatic lock. So if you forget to shut the door, the first curve you make, it locks in and locks. So you don't have to worry about the thing bouncing back and forth and having to pull over and stop and come back and lock it. So nice size residential style fiberglass shower on this side. It's got a skylight that opens up, which has an LED light on it too. So if you don't want the heat coming in, but still want some light, it has that. And then this huge bathroom over here. So this bathroom is really, really large, which is great because you know my wife's gonna be putting her makeup in on in here and stuff, but the toilet uh, obviously wouldn't be in there at the same time. We're not quite that close, but the toilet is back there and gives plenty of room for it. So she's not, doesn't feel like she's standing on top of the toilet trying to put her makeup on. So I love the extra space they give us in the bathroom. AC vents in here as well. Great, great space for only a 32 foot coach. So love the bathroom, love the bedroom. Let's go outside and I'll show you the outside features as well. Before I go outside, I did want to point out the multiplex wiring. So multiplex wiring means that the controls are connected by fiber optic cable and there's a, a brain that runs the different controls. One of the features I love is the master light on and off. So when I walk out of the coach, I can hit master light off and it will turn all the lights off. When I come back in, when I hit master light on, whatever lights I had on will automatically come back on. And then again, I hold it down and then all of the lights in the coach will come on. So if you just wanna brighten everything up immediately, you can do it that way as well. Your um, individual ceiling lights or controls are here, your outside patio lights, your awning, as well as your battery disconnect and your step switch. So all that in the multiplex wiring. And then the benefit to the multiplex is you can turn lights off from here. Then there's also a ceiling light switch in the uh, kitchen area. So it gives you multiple places to turn the light on. So as I'm leaving the door, I just want to point out how wide this entry door is. Most of the Class A's have a door that comes to about right here, which is really difficult, especially as you're carrying stuff in and out. This one's wide enough that I can have a box and go straight in and not have to worry about hitting my elbows going or turning some funny angle. It also has the extra wide uh, steps on here, the quickie steps, which are great. Now, the door, the fiberglass on this and the door, all fiberglass body, fiberglass roof, another huge benefit to Tiffin. It's the same for diesel pusher coaches. The basement is hung uh, aluminum doors, and this is one thing I love, is the full piano hinge they do. This door, when you open it, it's not sagging or twisting or moving, and just listen to the sound when you close it. Sounds like a car door. Very heavy duty. We don't have a lot of leak problems in the compartments on this manufacturer. The other benefit is these compartments. You have one, two, three, four compartments that have pass-through basement storage. That's amazing in a Class A motorhome. You also in here have your vacuum system that you can hook into as well. It's where you change your filter and stuff, uh, as well as your 110 plug up here and a, co a coaxial hookup. And here's the tile I was mentioning earlier. But great pass-through storage here so you can see all the way across. Let's look at the back storage as well. Okay, so back here, another huge pass-through storage compartment, and the next one is your propane tank, but pass-through storage across your propane tank as well. So not only a large propane tank, but you still get storage. Great feature. Again, a lot of them aren't offering that for you as well. Tiffin is doing it. Let's look on the other side. Surprising thing on the generator. So one thing about the generator, in this size coach, a 5.0 generator is pretty much what you're going to get. Now with Tiffin, 7kW generator instead of a 5000. Do you always need the extra wattage? No, but man, it doesn't hurt to have it. Again, you'll see this is the other side of the LP compartment, so you still get the pass-through storage. And then in this one, your back compartment, you've got storage, 50 amp cord, but they also in here use the, um, the surge guard uh, ATS switch, so it's an automatic transfer switch, but has your surge protected built into the switch. Something a lot of people don't spend the extra expense to have that. So great feature on that as well. And then your storage up front under your slide is also really big. So here where everybody loves to be, underneath the slide out, but this is where your wet bay is located. Uh, we haven't even cleaned this coach up yet, it's just come in, so I apologize for the dirtiness of it. But we do have the full coach water filtration as well. Uh, the water heater bypass is located here with a little lever, nothing crazy you have to go find. Outside water pump switch and light. You have a black water flush built in, and of course your outside shower all located in here. City fill and tank fill just from a lever. So very, very simple. Another thing, you have the low point drain. So when you do want to drain the coach, your hot and cold water are color coded and drain right here very simply. In front of it are two more storage, the other side of the pass-through storage compartments, and then very easily accessible for your HWH uh, pump, for your slides and your jacks, as well as the electrical compartment. All of those great features. 
Okay, I'm going to point these out. These foot wells for your driver's side door are huge. Now, the reason I point that out, if you've ever experienced most manufacturers, they put you a little bitty uh, step that sticks out from the side of the coach instead of going to the expense of insetting the foot wells. And that means when you're trying to climb out or go in, your foot slips off and you bust your butt. It has happened. If you have one like that, you will know what I'm talking about. Tiven gives you two big foot wells, makes it really easy to get inside here with the big grab handle. You can get inside the driver's door. And the windshield on this, it's bonded into the fiberglass cap. It's not just held in with that little rubber gasket. So the windshield has less water leaks and less wind noise and stuff. We're gonna go back over to the main side of the coach, but before I do, I wanna point out too, your cameras are built into the mirrors. So you do have the wide view of the cameras. They're not on the side. A little more expensive for Tiffin to do it, but it gives you a better angle for those cameras. Let's go back to the main side of the coach. I'll wrap up and give you my top three. And again, ask you to subscribe and click that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos coming out. Let's wrap this up. Okay, top three features that I love most about this coach. I would say first is going to be the, re the air conditioner system ducted up into the roof. It's just so much quieter and I really love that. It just makes it feel much more residential. The cabinetry, I'm a big wood cabinet guy and I love what they do with their cabinets. It's great and on this heavy chassis we have the weight to spare so love that as well. And the third one is kind of funny. I could have gone with the big residential refrigerator, the entertainment center, the recliner, the you know tons of other features, even the desk for my wife when we're traveling. But honestly, I gotta go with the exterior of the coach. This thing is, is awesome. This is uh, sunlit sand is the color of this one. Beautiful paint job. They have a great paint facility at Tiffin. They do a really nice job. Your outside entertainment center and your acrylic awning just go so well. This makes a coach that I would love to be camping in, sitting at the campground, spread out like this with my chairs out, a little bubble fire pit out there, and really enjoying the, the trip and the vacation. So. This might be the right unit for you. I don't think it'll last very long the way things have been going. So give us a call, 225-275-2940. Check it out at millersrv.com. And again, we are here to help you enjoy the journey. Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope that you found it both informative and entertaining. If you would, like this video and also subscribe to our channel so you can see everything new that's coming out as well. If you have any questions or comments, please list them below. Also tell us anything else you would like us to do a video on. Again, this is Jeff at Miller's RV. Enjoy the journey and click on one of the links to watch another video by us.